Oh my god, I'm an idiot. In my last video, I did Sammy God Wars boss with this dragon fire shield, but it was uncharged, and I didn't think it actually mattered. I thought it was only for the special attack, but the stats on it, when it's uh, uncharged, is the same as a mithril kai shield. So, that's uh, very unfortunate, but uh, look at these stats right now. I'm going to go and charge it, and look at the difference in a bit. Let's have a look now at the difference. Oh yeah, that is uh, quite the defensive upgrades. So for my bossing series, Zero to Hero, I want to get into Cerberus as soon as possible because it seems like one of those bosses that you can make some really good money from if you're lucky. And it's also one of those Slayer bosses, so it's usually a bit easier to kill as well, and many of them. So I need to get two Slayer levels for that, and probably not going to get that in this video, but I wanted to make a video where I slay for 24 hours and see how much experience I get and how much loot and profits that I can get from it. So. I am going to put a counter up here, if I can uh, click on the next frame, you can see here I'm going to cleanse this, so we have nothing in loot, I'm going to also cleanse this one, so we have no experience gained, and we will be using this tracker right here, I've named it 24 hour slayer, and I can start it and it will start counting and I can pause it whenever, and I'm not going to reset it obviously, but when it gets to 24 hours, I have completed my assignment. First layer assignment, black dragons, extremely easy to do. Of course a very fast task and easy points, let's get another one. Cave Kraken, oh I'm actually going to do Kraken boss, uh, and that is not going to be one of the bosses including by the way in my Zero to Hero series because I have already killed it and I have a video on that. Dude Kraken is so easy and the loot is uh, alright I would say, I didn't get any red drops but uh, 2.4 mil in 115 Krakens and I'm at 229 in total. I have to get 59 runecrafting for this elite, and I'm only at 45 right now, so I will just keep this in the bank for uh, some time in the future. Oh, Skeletal Vyverns, that's a very good task now that I have my DFS. Oh my god, that was such a close call, I just barely managed to, in one inventory, uh, finish that assignment. 21 HP left and no prayer. But uh, the loot is very good, I think that's uh, a solid, how much was that? 500k. Calling an Abyssal Demon task. Spiritual creatures, wow, that is a terrible assignment. I don't have many points, but that is definitely one of those I'm going to be skipping. Anko is very easy points, very bad loot. That's a hefty amount of gargoyles. Hopefully uh, I will get some superiors on this task. And also, I'm not going to do that in this video, but uh, I do definitely want to make a future video on the gargoyle bosses. I don't actually remember their names, but uh, it would be very fun to try to attempt that boss. Can I please not die on the superior? Uh, I did not actually bring any food, I only brought prayer potions. I didn't really expect to get uh, to 10 HP, but uh, everything seems fine anyways. No imbued heart this time, but I need to pray so I don't get uh, destroyed by this one. This is probably the closest call I've ever had to dying on a superior. Can I please not get hit now by a ranged hit? If I get randomed here, I'm going to be so annoyed. Can I actually just hit... Dude, that is actually just sad. A Horseshoe Scroll from Aberrant Spectres. Let's see if we can get anything good from this one. No fucking way! Oh my god! <laughs> That's my first third age item I've ever got. Ever. Including RS3 that I've played for a really long time. Holy shit! 28 mil worth. I mean, it's not the most valuable third age item, but... 28 mil, that's so much money. Damn, 120 hard clues. Oh my god, that is... That is actually insane. Oh my god, dude, I'm, I've never said this before, I think. And I think it's so nerdy when people say it. But I'm literally shaking. I, I mean, that is so insanely rare. I don't even know what to say. I mean, after that luck, I do deserve these tasks. I mean, I have got in like 10 tasks, I probably 4 Suka tasks. It is actually sad at this point. But I was actually not even planning on doing that hard clue. And then I was like, eh, whatever, I'll do it for the video. And holy dude, I did not expect that. 75 points from 330 tasks done. And I do have the points to buy where you can unlock uh, the ability for Slayer Masters to give you bosses as assignments, which is going to be very, very important for my bossing series. But I'm not going to do that until I get a bit more points, because I don't want to get a really bad task and not be able to skip it. But we have another hard clue here. Let's get another third age, shall we? 
If this is not a 28 million clear reward, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, it's 82k, but it is a unique as well. Uh, it's not worth a lot though, but uh, a master clue as well. I really doubt I can actually do this. Uh, dragon plate skirt, climbing boots, dragon chain body. Yeah, I can do this step, but uh, I don't have these items and I don't really feel like doing it right now. It's been a while since I had my last superior and getting one on the abyssal demon task is very nice. Let's see what it drops me. Uh, no imbued heart, but uh, a dark totem of course as always and that that was actually the last piece that I needed for another totem So I might do a scotizo kill in the future hard clue as well And I'm going to show you guys here on the side. I'm almost at the 10 hour mark So just uh, almost halfway there. We're getting some really nice loot so far You can see here 32.8 million and obviously most of that from this beautiful kite shield Oh hell yeah, in the end of the trip, Abyssal Whip for, uh, how much is that? 2.6 million profit. That's uh, almost 2.7 million from uh, an Abyssal Demon Drop. I want anything better than 80k please. That is de definitely better than, oh never mind, it was 90k. I got tricked because I thought the Gothic's Playboy was actually worth something. Two superiors almost back to back, can you see in the chat here? Uh, let's see what the loot is. Another dark totem piece, and that means I uh, now with the one I got on my last superior, have a full totem again. Dude, what? Three uh, superiors in like half a uh, dust devil task. Okay, well that is uh, pretty lucky. Can I please stop getting this task? 422k clue scroll, 105k unlucky. I'm actually getting insanely lucky with superiors. Uh, this is my second one on this task and what would you know? It was actually back to back. You can see in the chat here how close it was together because I didn't drink another dose of divine potion. So I pretty much just killed one and got a superior and then after that superior killed another one and got another one. And that's a slayer level, 90 slayer. Pretty huge level right there and I'm actually going to uh, click here so you can see that took me 19 hours to achieve. Which uh, is almost 400,000 Slayer experience in 19 hours, that is uh, almost 20,000 Slayer experience per hour. And I have actually not really had that many barraging tasks, or uh, ice burst or whatever I'm using, uh, that are the best experience in the game. So, I would say that's pretty decent. Okay, this is actually crazy. Uh, I just got another superior on this task, and you can see in the chat here, that was my second one. I have been getting two or three superiors on every single task. Dude, this is a uh, bro.mp4. Are you serious? Three in one task? Yeah, I am uh, insanely lucky. Uh, that is uh, just about the 20 hour mark, so we have four hours left to go. Yeah, I'm not going to get that 91 Slayer, but uh, we will see in four hours uh, what the results are. 191 cave horrors, I'm really feeling a black mask on this task. Didn't get a black mask, but we actually got five superiors in this task. My uh, superior luck is not really giving in yet. Okay, so it's been an update on the uh, RS Lite client, so I will have to reset everything, which includes the counter and all the loot that I have accumulated during these 21 and a half hour. So uh, I'm just going to show what I have so far, and then uh, I will in the uh, future clips show what I got from the last uh, 2 hours and 34 minutes. So this is what I've got. 42 million in total loot, and I'm going to uh, go through everything here. And of course, uh, all the things that I've picked up I will uh, sell at the end of the video, including the 3rd Age Kite Shield, Abyssal Whip there from Abyssal Demons, and there we have the... Uh, <laughs> Clue scroll reward, 4 hard clues for 28 million, aberrant specters, quite a lot of sucras, <laughs> that's 252 of them. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the loot that I've got from all the slay tasks so far. And uh, in the next clip, or some clips in the near future, I will be done and I will show the total results. Actually, the timer stayed, uh, even though the loot didn't, so you can see the loot is gone now. And I actually forgot to show you the experience, but it's uh, not that important, I guess. I think I got an overall of 2 million experience, and the counter is still there, so I don't know why this doesn't reset, but uh, the th other things do. So I have enough points to uh, buy the boss assignment thing, unlock, so I'm going to go down here and uh, unlock like a boss, uh, because then I will still have 219 points that I can skip tasks with if I get some really bad ones. So if I get any bo boss tasks in the, the future videos and all that, I will definitely do them. Dagonoths, I'm actually going to try Dagonoth Kings. 
extremely early into the trip and I get a drop, a mod battle staff. It's not worth a lot, but 100k is not too bad. Oh my god, the kill after I get a seer call. I think it's the same drop rate as a ring. Oh, dude. Oh no, man. A seer's ring. I mean, it's a drop, but it's the least valuable of the rings. It's 300k, meanwhile the other ones are uh, a couple of mil each. A bit into the task, that is uh, not a valuable drop. Dragonstone, probably extremely rare. I will actually not have time to complete this task, I did pretty much half the task, but you can see the timer on the right side here, 20 seconds left until uh, I am done with my 24 hours, so I'm going to pick up the rune darts, put them into the blowpipe, and uh, get the bones and tally out. These bones are actually worth a lot each, I'm not sure how much, but I think they're like 10k each. But here we go, the last 5 seconds, I'm going to be inactive unfortunately, uh, and there we go, that is 24 hours of Slayer, we got 500,000 experience. Okay, so this is the loot tab, and I have some items uh, in the other tab as well, like the 3rd age kite shield, and the whip, and the serious ring is here as well. So I'm going to sell everything in the PVM loot tab that I had cleaned out before I started this, and uh, let's see what the results are. Okay, so the loot from the normal items was uh, just above 6 mil, and let's see what the uh, rare items or big items are going to sell for. So 300k is probably pretty uh, realistic for the series ring, should insta sell 320k, pretty good. So now the bigger item, 2 point, uh, I'm gonna do 2.6 mil for this one. Should probably instantly sell, there's a lot of people buying him. Yeah, it sold for 1k under the normal price, so we're just shy of 10 mil. Now for the big one. Okay, it has went down in price, I think. Maybe not, I'm not completely sure, but I'm actually going to put it up for not 28k. Uh, 28 mil to begin with and see if it sells. Okay, it doesn't sell, so I'm going to uh, try to sell it for just slightly lower. Um, maybe I'll try like 27.5 mil, uh, that's how you do it. So let's see if it uh, sells for this price, otherwise I'm going to be worried. Oh, that is not a good sight to see. Um, I have a feeling though that this shield should sell for that price, but I'm going to put it at 450k uh, right now to see if it sells. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep this here. Uh, meanwhile, I edit the video and all that, and let's see if it sells. So that didn't actually take long at all, and it sold for the exact price that I put it up for, 27.4 million. And that means in 24 hours, including, of course, the amazing 3rd Age Kite Shield, we made 36.5 mil. And obviously the Abyssal Whip and the 3rd Age Kite Shield was the big ones, but just in normal drops I got about 6 mil in 24 hours, which... Money per hour is not very good, but we also got 500,000 Slayer experience, which was the main thing I wanted to do in this video. So that's going to do it for this video. I do deeply hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had an amazing time doing this video, not just because I love doing Slayer, but because I almost got a heart attack at that 3rd uh, age Kai shield. I mean, I still can't believe I actually got a 3rd age. I mean, it wasn't the most valuable one, but the value of it is not the main part for me. I mean, I've done clue scrolls for many years in RS and I've never had a third age item. So getting one was really something amazing. And if you did like this video, please leave a like. It uh, helps the video quite a lot get shown to other people. And uh, if you want to see when I post my future videos, make sure to subscribe. Okay, have a good one, guys.